We're back again. Welcome to Tai Chi for Health, part of our 2023 Village and Howard Spring Tai Chi series. I'm Fran Dummett, and I'll be sharing videos from Dr. Adam Potts, physical therapist and Tai Chi instructor. I am part of the Village in Howard, which is a group that has a great volunteer contingency. We help others doing uh, service in their houses, doing transportation, maybe to pick up prescriptions, et cetera. We have volunteers who are working in the office and a variety of committees that you can be part of to contribute, especially if you're 55 and older and want something to do. So please join us at The Village in Howard at www.thevillageinhoward.org. Couple of quotes for today from Rumi, one of my favorites. The beauty you see in me is the reflection in you. And I thought this was a very good picture, especially about social media. Social media never shows the whole picture. Perfection is just an illusion. So contemplate that. And I truly, truly believe positivity helps well-being. So keep a list of small, ordinary things that make you happy. A new flower from your plant baby. That book you can't wait to finish. When you hear something wonderful has happened to someone you love. Cultivate the habit of noticing every joy. And after a while, you won't even have to try. So what's your outlook? Today, we'll do an introduction to health and Tai Chi, the benefits. We'll hear a, um, an experience, uh, Tai Chi for Health with Dr. Adam Potts. I found an incredible poem from Allen Ginsberg from our past in the kitchen. And you'll notice a lot of the Tai Chi movements in his poem. It's a video. We'll have a little Tai Chi music. And next week, we will explore Tai Chi for strength. So I want you to think about if you've been practicing these last couple of weeks, how has your Tai Chi practice impacted you? Is it doing anything for you? I know for me, it really helped my balance and flex flexibility and my confidence and being able to do things going up and down those stairs and outside and helping my grandchildren. So how has it impacted you? Well, some of the benefits for Tai Chi, uh, for instance, in a study in uh, 2019, uh, it reduced some pain scores with people with fibromyalgia. It helped improve sleep quality and relieved our fatigue and reduced depression and really increases our quality of life. And of course, if you have good sleep, it reduces stress, reduces weight, I'll just sleep my life away and get skinny, right? Reduces inflammation, boosts your memory, may prevent cancer, don't know about that, but can help the body repair broken tissue by itself. So some benefits of Tai Chi, benefits of sleeping. So if you're noticing yourself, especially as we go through this series, this Tai Chi can improve your lower body strength as well as your upper body strength. We're doing a, a strength one at the end next week, in fact. When you practice Tai Chi regularly, which I have been doing, it can be comparable to resistance training and brisk walking. And although you're not working with weights or resistance bands, the unsupported arm exercises that we're doing 
involves Thai cheese and it strengthens your upper body. And I am seeing that. So can it heal your body? Researchers have discovered that even a shorter modified exercise series of Tai Chi movements can improve our muscle strength, our balance and flexibility, and reduce stress and lower our blood pressure. Can it help your brain? Well, those balance exercises and learning the sequence of the movements, notice how we're repeating them each week, it's perfect for saving our memory as we age. And that brain imaging studies in humans show that it can improve cognition and moderately reduce fall risk and change that brain, brain function in specific neuronal region. And it really has a connection with cognitive improvements in seniors with mild mental decline. So it improves our memory and functioning skills. So as I know people in the beginning were saying, oh, I can't remember it. It was going so fast, didn't know what I was doing. But as we practice each week, as we do anything, it builds up our memory. This is just a little added thing. How do you know you found your chi in doing this? So you're learning to listen and to trust your feelings and understand that a feeling is the ultimate way that we communicate with ourselves. During this Tai Chi, are you feeling connected and feel your flow? You are experiencing some inner strength. Notice that empowerment and peace all at once. And maybe your life has a sense of purpose. So let's begin our practice session. Center that self and just breathe in and out. Releasing your shoulders away from your ears, unclench your jaw, drop your tongue from the roof of your mouth, and let's listen and participate with Dr. Adam Potts, Potts Tai Chi for Health. In this video, we're going to do an easy 20-minute Tai Chi flow that's great for beginners using the movements of the Yang Style 24 movement form, which is the most popular form in the world. All right, make sure you watch until the very end because I'm also going to share one of my favorite poems that I created myself called White Crane Spreads Wings. Now for this session, you don't have to get anything perfect. You don't have to memorize anything. Just follow along and just do what you see. I'll be your mirror image, but if you go one way and I go the other, I promise I won't get mad. And then also I cue the breathing, but if that part stresses you out, you can just breathe normal. You can also do this sitting in a chair, standing, or you can alternate sitting and standing as needed. All right, but if you're standing, we'll begin with the feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen. You can close your eyes or just keep a soft gaze. As you breathe in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly returns towards the spine. Abdominal breathing. Breathing in and breathing out, coming into the present moment, arriving in the body getting out of our heads, letting go of our worries of the day. And then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top of the inhale just for a moment, and then let it out with a big sigh, <sighs> just letting out tension and stress. And the hands can float down by the sides. As you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as if you're gathering an energy right into the heart. Send it back down through the body into the earth sinking the chi. Let's do that one again. It's a great way just to organize the energy, just to ground and center before the flow, or actually to start the flow. Adding in some gentle movements one more time, sink the chi. And then from here, you can step one foot out to the side, either foot, the arms float up in front to about shoulder height. Then the arms get heavy, floating down, the knees and hips can soften, opening the door. The first movement of our form, the start of the journey, sometimes called commencing. Breathing in and breathing out. Like mist rising from the lake, the arms float up and the arms float down. One more time, open the door. This time, circle the arms around as if you're hugging a big tree. 
rounding out the arms. The arms open up wide, then this arm scoops under, step in as you catch the moon. The top hand goes behind the back, will step right out to the side, and as you step out, the bottom hand tosses the moon off into the sky. And then circle it back around. Toss away. This time the other hand comes back on top, catch the moon. The bottom hand tosses away, the other hand stays behind, parting the wild horse's mane. Breathing in, breathing out. Nice and easy, nice and slow, no rush, nowhere to go. One more time, circle it around, and then toss away. Then this time, stay with me here. So sit back, the hand floats across the horizon, and step in, catch the moon. We'll go to the other side, the top hand goes away, and then we'll step out, the bottom hand tosses the moon. Circle it back around, toss away, as if you could toss the moon. The other hand comes back on top, catch the moon. The bottom hand tosses away, the other hand pushes down, parting the horse's mane, creating tranquility out of chaos, the calm within the storm. All right, one more time, parting the horse's mane. And then from here, sit back and hug the tree right out in front, bring it back to center. <sighs> The arm is open. This hand scoops under, the other hand on top as we catch the moon, and the bottom hand comes up, the other hand pushes down. Then circle it back around, just the arms at first. You can shift the weight to the same side as the arm going up. All right, and then this time, as the arm goes up, the opposite foot taps right out in front, like you're testing out the waters. Step back in, catch the moon, the white crane spreads its wings. Beautiful. Breathing in, catch the moon. Breathing out, spread your wings. All right, one more time. Beautiful. All right, this time step in and catch the moon, and then we'll spin the moon. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Bottom hand comes up and over, the other hand pushes down, and then circle it back around. Once again with just the arms, shifting the weight if you like. All right, this time you can tap the toes right out in front of the opposite foot. White crane spreads wings, step back in, catch the moon. Bottom hand comes up, the other hand pushes down. You got it. All right, one more time. White crane spreads wings. You guys get it. All right, this time step in and hug the tree right out in front. Then this hand here drops down, toss away. The other hand comes on top as you step in. This hand pushes down as the other hand waves in. Breathing in, breathing out as you soften the hips and knees. One more time, pressing down and waving in. This time we'll step out to the side. And as you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee. Top hand pushes right across to the side. Then the top hand circles down, the bottom hand comes up. Coming back to the beginning, brush knee and push. Breathing in, circle it around. Weaving it all together, breathe out. All right, one more time. Brush knee and push. All right, and then from here, sit back. The hands float back to the center. Then this hand here drops down, the other hand on top. Step in, both hands together, pushing down and waving in as you soften the hips and knees. Rising back up, pressing down and waving in. Breathing. Then we'll step out to the other side. As you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, the top hand pushes right across. The top hand floats down, bottom hand circles up, brush knee and push. And as always, don't worry about getting it perfect. As long as you're moving, I'm happy. Keep on making circles. Eventually, you'll probably get it if you don't already. But you all look great. One more time, brush, knee, and push. All right, then from here, sit back. The hands float back to the center. Hug the tree right out in front. The arms open up wide. Then the fingertips drift towards each other, and the hands float down. And we'll just begin to drift over to one side drift over to the other, like tall grass in the breeze. 
a nice gentle sway. And then come on over to one side and then tap the heel right out in front. Bring it back in, shift the weight, other side, tap the heel. All right, this time tap the heel, the hand comes right over the foot on the same side. Other side, tap the heel, hand over the foot. All right, this time hand over the foot, other hand over the knee, playing the pipa, Chinese guitar. Other side, hand over the foot, other hand over the knee. And even circle it around if you want. Sometimes called strumming the lute. Breathing in, breathing out. All right, one more time. Playing the pipa. All right, step back in and hug the tree, rounding out the arms. This time the hands flip. The bottom hand drops down and then toss it away. And then the hand waves in towards the center and then press forward right towards me. The other hand drops down, toss away, hold it in, repulsing the monkey. Breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. You can even lean into it if you want. Repulsing the monkey, calming the monkey mind. All right, one more time. Beautiful. All right, this time, circle around and hug the tree, rounding out. The arms open up wide, then this hand scoops under, step in as you catch the moon. This time, as we step out, the bottom arm passes right through the waterfall. The other hand pushes down. Then circle it back around, warding off. All right, one more time. This time, the bottom hand scoops under, the fingertips slide down the curtain and then circle it back around. We call this one rolling back. One more time, circle it around, slide down and then toss it away, right up on the shelf. Then the arm folds in, pressing palm to palm, shift forward, slide down, toss away, press. One more time, we call this one the press. <laughs> All right, now this time the hands separate. Draw the hands in towards the heart and then push back out. We call this one the push. Breathing in and breathing out. As we learn to move like nature, like the rivers in the ocean, the tide rolls in, the tide rolls out. And then from here, sit back, the hand wipes right across the horizon. Then step in and catch the moon. We'll step out to the other side. As you step out, the bottom arm passes right through the water. The other hand pushes down, circle it back around, boarding off. One more time. This time the hand scoops under, the fingertips slide down, rolling back. Circle it around again, sometimes called yielding, this receiving. Can we receive as gracefully as we give? One more time, roll back, and then toss it away, right up on the shelf. The hand folds in, palm to palm, press forward. Slide down, toss away, press. All right, one more time. Just keep on moving. Letting go of any tension you don't need. And then from here, the hands separate, draw in, and then push back out as we do the push. Breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. All right, one more time. All right, this time sit back, wipe across the horizon, step in, catch the moon. We'll do each movement one time, grasping the bird's tail. Step out and ward off, roll back. Toss away, press, release, draw in, and push. Beautiful, you got it. All right, sit back and open, wipe across the horizon, step in, catch the moon. Each movement one time, grasping the bird's tail. Step out and ward off, roll back, toss away, press. 
release, draw in, and push. Beautiful. All right, this time sit back and hug the tree. Bring it right back to center. <sighs> the arms open up wide. This hand here drops down and drifts over to the other side. The hands switch positions, and then they float across like clouds in the sky. When you get to the corner, the hands switch again. Wave hands like clouds. Breathe in, breathe out, or take as many breaths as you need. Cloudy hands, like a moving meditation. All right, one more time. This time the top hand makes a hook. The bottom hand comes up. The bottom hand floats right across the horizon. The palm turns out, shoulders sink. Circle it around again, just the arms at first. Still breathing. This time you can step in as the hand comes up. And then step out, the hand floats across. Once again, single whip. Circle it back. All right, one more time. This time, stay with me here. We're in a reverse direction. The hand comes up and over, and then melting down, the hand scoops through, and then back up. Snake creeps through the grass. Let's do that again. You can always soften the hook arm if it's getting tired, by the way. <laughs> One more time, snake creeps down. And then release the hook. The hand drifts over, the hands become clouds. Once again, drifting across the sky. You can step in too. Feels a little more comfortable. <sighs> Breathing, letting go of any tension you don't need. This time the top hand makes a hook. The bottom hand comes up. The bottom hand floats across, palm turns out. <sighs> Softening at the end. Circle it around again. One more time, just the arms. This time you can step in as the hand comes up and then step out, single whip. Breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful, one more time. Single whip. And then reverse direction. The hand comes up and over and then melting down. The hand scoops through and back up. And as always, it doesn't matter how low you go. Just meeting yourself where you're at. One more time, snake creeps down. And release the hook. The hands become clouds once again. And with each passing of the clouds, the feet can get a little closer, coming to a comfortable stance where you feel nice and stable and present. Beautiful. All right, one more time, cloud hands. This time, hug the tree, bring it back to center. The arms open up wide, then the hands begin to float down, step one foot in, and then cross the wrists right in front of the heart. Then step out to the side as the hands brush out as well. This time you can lift the knee if you want. Touching down as needed. Step back out. All right, this time you can point the knee to the corner or you can keep it straight ahead. That's easier for you for now. And then from here you can kick out your heel. Now you can kick it straight out to the corner or down to the floor or anywhere in between. All right, now this time we'll open up the arms as you kick the heel. And then bring it back in. It's called step up and kick with heel. Let's do that one again. Sometimes I just call it the heel kick for short. All right, you can always hold on to a chair for this one or the wall or a friend. All right, one more time, heel kick. Beautiful, step down to center, the arms spread out to the sides. This time, step the other foot in, cross the wrists. Step out to the side, the hands brush out as well. This time you can lift the knee if you want. Once again, you can keep the toe down as needed. Meeting yourself where you're at. This time, if you want, you can lift the knee even higher. All right, and then this time you can point the knee to the corner. Or once again, you can keep it straight ahead. And then we can kick the heel either straight to the corner or down to the floor or anywhere in between. 
And then finally, we can open the arms as we kick the heel kick. Stepping down, let's do that one again. And I'll show you how you can do it, kicking down, that still counts. All right, one more time. Step up and kick with heel. Beautiful. All right, the hands circle around, hug the big tree right out in front. Breathing in the arms open. Breathing out the fingertips drift towards each other and the hands float down. And we'll just continue to drift over to one side, but this time the arms float up and then drift over to the other. Once again, just a nice gentle sway. All right, now this time, this hand here is gonna scoop down and come right out in front as the elbow bends. Hands float down, we'll do that again on the same side. So just the arms at first, and right out in front. Beautiful. All right, now this time you can unweight the same side leg, lifting the knee, once again, touching down as needed. The rooster stands on one leg. Let's do that one again. You can even lift a little higher if you want. It's okay if you wobble. <laughs> That's actually training the balance. One more time, the rooster. The elbow right over the thigh. Beautiful. All right, this time the hands drift over to the other side. The hands float up. Then this hand here scoops down. It comes right out in front. The other hand down by the hip. The hands float down. We'll do that again on the same side. Just the arms at first again. Beautiful. All right, now this time, if you want, you can lift the leg on the same side. Touching down as needed. The rooster stands on one leg. Let's do that one again. Beautiful. All right, one more time. Sometimes called the golden rooster. Stands on one leg. Beautiful. All right, circle around and hug the big tree right out in front. This time the arms open, the hands float down, the palms face up, one hand on top of the other. And this hand here drops down and floats all the way up and over and then down the center line of the body. And then the other hand floats up as you breathe in, as you breathe out, centering. Let's do that one again. One more time, creating mental focus and clarity. And then both arms float all the way up and over. They drift down towards the waist as you soften the hips and knees. And circle the hands in front as if you had a big ball right in front of the body, scooping under, back up to the heart, and down. All the way up and over, down to the waist again. But this time we'll make a diamond shape with the hands right in front of the heart and then press out, opening the heart. The hands float down, we'll do that again. Breathing in as you rise up. Breathing out as you soften and float down. Circling the ball, gathering in the energy to transform into loving kindness and self-compassion right at the heart. And then last one, all the way up and over, down to the waist. This time we'll make the diamond shape again, right in front of the heart, and then press out, reaching, connecting, sending out all your loving kindness out to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. And then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. And then the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. You can step your feet together or as close as you can. Close your eyes or just keep a soft gaze and let your body rock and sway ever so slightly. Bamboo in the wind. Really feeling into the body. Noticing the sensations. Mindfulness. And then bringing your attention to your breath. 
noticing the inflow and the outflow of the breath without trying to control it in any way. Just letting the universe breathe you. You don't have to do a thing. And now we're going to hear a poem in C, Alec, Allen Ginsberg. I don't know if you remember him. He was around from 1926 to 1997, was an American poet and writer. He vigorously opposed militarism, economic materialism, sexual repression, and he embodied aspects of the counterculture with his views on drugs, sex, multiculturalism, hostility to bureaucracy, and openness to the Eastern religions. In fact, he was a Buddhist who studied extensively Eastern religion disciplines. He was the founder of Naropa Institute in Boulder, Colorado, and vigorously uh, protested the Vietnam War and War on Drugs. I found this poem fascinating because it shows a lot of the positions we are doing in Tai Chi. So enjoy this poem by Allen Ginsberg in my kitchen. And it's in New York, written in 1984. Picasso's blue death head self-portrait tacked on refrigerator door. This is the only space in the apartment big enough to do Tai Chi. Straighten right foot and rise. I wonder if I should have set aside that garbage pail. Raise up my hands and bring them back to shoulders. The towels and pajama laundry is hanging on the rope in the hall. Push down and grasp the sparrow's tail. Those paper boxes of grocery bags are blocking the closed door. Turn north. I should hang up all those pots on the stovetop. Am I holding the world right? That Hopi picture on the wall shows rain and lightning bolt. Turn right again through the door. God, my office space. A mess of pictures and unanswered letters left on my hips. Thank God Arthur Rambo's watching me from over the sink. Single whip. Piano's in the room. Well, Stephen and Mario finally moved to their own apartment next week. His pants are still here, and Julius in his bed. This gestures the opposite of St. Francis in Ecstasy by Bellini. Hands down for me. I better concentrate on what I'm doing. Weight in belly, move from hips. No, that was the single whip. That apron's hanging on the north wall a year. I haven't used it once, except to wipe my hands. The crane spreads its wings. Have I paid the electric bill? Playing the guitar. Do I have enough money to leave the rent paid while I'm in China? Brush knee. That was good halava. Pounded sesame seed in the icebox a week. Withdraw and push. I should get a loft or giant living room. The land speculators bought up all the square feet in Manhattan, beginning with the Indians. Cross hands. I should write a letter to the time saying it's unethical. Come to rest, hands down, knees straight. I wonder how my liver's doing. 
Okay, I guess, tonight. I quit smoking last week. I wonder if they'll blow up an H-bomb. Probably not. And now a little time to reflect on all that we've done today. So slowly, let's breathe in and out, reawakening your body. Can you feel your mind and body becoming more awake and alert? Maybe just move your arms and legs and stretch your muscles to let them awaken. And sit for a moment with your eyes open, observing the room around you. And when you're ready, Return to your usual activities, keeping with you a sense of calm and relief. I hope you've enjoyed sharing Tai Chi for Health. If you want a copy of the links and a copy of the poem by Allen Ginsberg, just write to me, Fran Dummett, F-R-A-N-D-U-M-M-E-T-T at gmail.com. Next week, we're going to explore Tai Chi for strength. Namaste. See you.